Welcome to Network Marketing Pro. My name is Eric Worre, and today I want to talk about one of those traits that entrepreneurs have that confuse the rest of the world. And there's many names for it, but one of my favorite names is delusional optimism. Some people would call it visionary. Some people would call it delusional optimism. In Steve Jobs' case, they called it the mental distortion field. This total inability or unwillingness to look at what might happen or the reality of the current situation because the vision of what you want is so much greater and it's so much clearer in your mind. So how does this manifest itself in business for entrepreneurs? They see something and they ignore the obstacles or they, they don't view the obstacles as anything that should slow them down. They view the obstacle as an opportunity to be able to improve and get better. Other people say you should be reasonable. The, the people who are, are delusionally optimistic don't deal in reason. They deal in vision. They deal in a big picture. They deal in a can-do mindset. They deal in a philosophy that says, I'm going to say yes, I'm going to tell the world, and I'm going to figure it out. While everybody else is trying to figure it out, and everybody else is trying to make sure that they're not embarrassed in front of the rest of the world. In, in other words, they look good all the time. The visionary entrepreneurs don't care about that stuff. What they care about is their vision and they're going to make it happen. They're going to make it so. What, and, and what most people in the world will call them are delusional. So you take a look, Martin Luther King Jr., they'd say he was delusional, it's never gonna happen. Well, a lot of progress has happened since he said, I have a dream. There's still a lot of work to go. Whether it's Churchill, or it's Gandhi, or it's Mandela, or it's Mother Teresa, or it's Anyone that you know that you would consider as a leader, business leaders, the Steve Jobs of the world, the Bill Gates of the world, the Elon Musks of the world, all of those people were delusionally optimistic about their vision. And I would venture to tell you that until you get delusionally optimistic about your vision, you're putting a lid on your capacity to influence the world, to grow and contribute to the world. Your purpose here on this earth is, has an artificial lid on it because you're not willing to be delusionally optimistic. So, if you're prepared to step outside of that comfort zone and put yourself out there and understand it's not always gonna work perfect, but you're gonna course correct along the way. Every obstacle is gonna become an opportunity. Every setback is gonna become an opportunity for you to get better, for you to learn, for you to grow. You never lo lose, you just win or you learn one way or the other. Once you adopt that and your vision is stronger than the obstacle that comes in front of you, nothing can stop you. That's our show for today. Hope you got value. And if you did, make sure that you forward this to somebody that might need to hear it. Until then, my wish for all of you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional. You decide to go pro because it is a stone cold fact that we do have a better way. Now let's go tell the world. Everybody have an amazing day and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, bye-bye. Hey, my name is Eric Worre and if you're involved in the network marketing profession, I wanna invite you to come to the Network Marketing Pro YouTube channel. Every week, we put out content on how you can become a network marketing professional. We have tips, ideas, strategies, interviews with million dollar earners in the profession, interviews with global icons like Tony Robbins or Sir Richard Branson, lots of different things that we provide there absolutely free. Do yourself a favor, Click on the link, subscribe to the YouTube channel, tell your friends to do the same, and I can't wait to see you there.